to the channel so today i'm going to show you guys uh how to you know go about the hsp a modem yeah it's usually written hsdp a modem and it's the same thing so this modem is usually um it's a modem that can work internationally so it's not like specified to a certain internet service provider so that is the best thing about it so if you're in iraq and there is a mobile service provider internet service provider there so it can work there like it is configured to work with all the isps whichever whatever whichever you are, you, you are working with so it doesn't matter the isp that you're using so let's get into it so if you want me to do a review of the, the, the unboxing of it I can do it so just tell me in the comment section down below so and I'll be very pleased to do it so uh, as you can see it has this one two three four and five so this first part it tells you its name HSPA USB modem and uh, there is the minimize button the maximize button and the, the cancel button so here also we have a file where you can when you click file and you come here to settings you can configure manually the network settings and everything and uh, there is also file you can exit ha, this part of operations you can change which operation you want to use here so any can do so and then here there is help if you want to ask for help about something that's not working or something that's not working properly so you can just ask for help there maybe it will direct you into internet and something like that so actually it tells you about the version of the modem so it's see this one is 13.05.24 so yeah here this connection part uh, when you click it, it doesn't go anywhere. It's just it shows you this window, which we'll come to in a second. So, and for statistics, uh, okay, statistics mostly applies when you are using uh, data, uh, like when you're browsing the internet, and so it tracks the link time and it shows you the time you've been online and uh, the upload and download speeds it shows you yeah the speed and uh, the data used the download speed and the data used that's quite handy so in the voice section here you can come and dial any number so no actually you cannot dial any number so because that is because we have two sections where you can dial numbers so the first section is the voice section and the other section is the SSD section. We'll get to that in a second. So here, if you want to make calls, you can just come and uh, write a number, like maybe seven something. Yeah. And then here you can write the green one is for calling and the red one is for answering a call. Here we have two contacts and those other buttons as well. And also we have this button where you can like when you move it, it is just the sound of the call. So we have another section here where it says SMSs. So here it's as inbox is the SMSs that come into the machine through the modem. So it's here is the the computer part is the um the messages that have been saved in the computer the modem part is the messages that have been saved into the modem the USIM is the ones that have been saved into the sim card that you are using so here also there is messages that you have sent to other people and uh, the unsent messages messages that you sent and didn't successfully get to the people that you wanted them to get to so it is mentioning your machine and tells you there is something you need to correct okay the drafts includes the messages that you are planning to send or something you wrote and you don't intend to send to anyone 
stop that is for the trucks so after that so there's this other section i'm seeing here so here is when you want to write a new message so you just uh, add the recipient the you know then here they say not use separate different numbers so yeah the number and uh, the sms content so the message you write it down here and then here there is the reading a message replying forwarding clearing the log saving a number and then calling yeah the phone book of course is where you store where the um contacts are stored so and as in the sms again there is three storage options the pc the modem and the sim card so this other section there is the records yeah so this records incoming calls calls that are going on the missed calls and everything and they have a similar section to this to up here and uh, this last section here is the ussd so uh, the ussd this is an example of a ussd so we can say uh, star 504 hash yeah that is an example of a ussd so if you're requesting you're, you want to request a service from your internet service provider you can use that one and uh, it works it really works so it is good so if you want to check your balance your data balance it really works so this section here uh, is as a result of this one so anything that happens here is as a result of what you select up here so that is not so much uh, of concern but there is a section i need to look into so hspa modem this is the last section um there is this sign here as you can see it is a bar like a, an electricity pole and uh, there is also um, an x to it next to it so this means there is no sim card and that is confirmed by this part here there is no using in that has been installed because i have not yet uh, installed a sim card into the model but if it has um, if there is a, 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 a sim card in the modem it shows some bars here like the network bars i'll show here they are color white they i'll show here and uh, here and one thing when, when, when you when you buy this modem make sure that your sim card has no password or has no a pin that restricts someone to uh from accessing it because when you when you use it we uh, uh a password or a pin there is this section here that will show you that it cannot work and you will try to connect but it won't connect so and another thing another trick uh, a modem i have observed that this modem does not connect if you don't have data bundles i don't know what they are called in other if there is no internet connection or you have no your balance your data plan is is not it does not have a balance it shall not work you try to connect it it lies to you here that it's connecting it says like authenticating something yeah and then it says disconnected something like that so always make sure that you have it uh with enough data bundles and something like that so otherwise thank you for watching um uh, appreciate your support so if you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like my videos please subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next